Hello and welcome to this video that shows you how to set up a works cited page in MLA formatting. This is being recorded on February the 6th of 2023. So let's say you've just finished writing your MLA paper and we're here on the last page and we need to put in our works cited information. Okay. Um, so what's going to happen is that the works cited page needs to start on the top of its own page. Now here is a really cool trick to use. Okay, so you can see that they've only got like a paragraph here on this. This was supposed to be like a four to five page paper. So they wrote four pages plus a little bit more. Okay, so and, um, a lot of students, what they wanna do is they'll just hit enter a whole bunch of times, you know, whatever. Um, and, um, and then until they get to the next thing. Yeah, don't do that, okay? So there's this really cool button right up here, and so it'll show a hide button. So we're gonna click on it, and you see whenever I hit the enter button, it and you know did all this stuff. We're like, no, we don't wanna do that. A better way, a better way to do this is at the end of this sentence, you're gonna to want to go to insert, and then put page break, okay? Um, actually, let me just make this a little bit Zoom it a little bit so it's a different page. So what's going to happen is that it's going to say, okay, after this, well, it really doesn't like that phrasing. Anyway, after this, it's going to go to page break and it's going to start on the top of the next page automatically. You're like, what? I know, right? Okay. And I'll show you why that's important in just a second. So, um, okay, so let's go back to the home and I'm going to, and this automatically tabbed it over. So we want to make sure we're over here. So the first thing we do is just type in, works cited okay uh, and we can turn off our little uh hide show button for right now okay uh not we are excited not work we're excited no it's works cited not works cited page not references it's works cited and this should be centered and also make sure at this point in time that it is times new roman size 12 because everything in mla is size, times new roman size 12. okay so very good now we're ready to enter in our first citation okay so i just hit the enter button and then i'm going to go back to align left okay now i need to find a, a you know a, a source that i that i've used it for this paper okay um, so I'm just going to show you an example of how you could do this. So um, let's say I had been doing research, and this is, uh, I, I work at a school in North Carolina, so we use something called NC Live, and here's some scholarly articles dealing with, um, you know, this, this paper. So let's say I wanted to use, let's say I had used this article um, in writing my paper, okay? So I'm going to click on this article. And a lot of folks, a lot of places have this similar something like this. There's like a little cite button up here. Okay, and I'm just showing you whatever. But um, so I'm just going to click on the cite button. Now notice that right now, again, I'm recording this in 2023 in April, in April, ha, huh, in uh, February. So right now it's MLA is in the ninth edition. So here's the information. Okay, and so um, I'm just going to copy this, highlight the whole thing, hit Control C to copy it. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to close that out and then I'm going to go back to my paper. Okay. So, I'm, and then I'm going to hit control V to paste it. Okay. Now we got some problems. First of all, actually, let's get in another source. Okay. Let's go back to, we need to have another source. Let's go back to this and we'll go to the next one right here. And... We'll go to the site on this one. And this one, we actually have to choose it. Have to find MLA 9th edition. Uh, okay, so wow, look at that action. Woo, that's fun. Fun. I'm going to go ahead and just copy all that. And again, Control C. Or I could hit copy. Okay, and then I'm going to go back to my paper. And then I'm going to just go hit Control V. Okay, now we got some problems. Okay, the first problem is everything on your works cited page should be sorted alphabetically by the last name of the author. So we are out of order right away. Okay, and if there's not by the last name of the author, then it's by the name of the article. So really, this whole thing needs to go before this bad boy here. Boom. Okay, 
and then I'm going to hit delete. Okay, and then we're just going to get rid of this. Okay, so now it's in alphabetical order the way it should be. Okay, but still we have a problem because remember everything in MLA formatting should be Times New Roman size 12. And look, we've got different fonts here. This one is, I don't know how to pronounce that. What is this one? Open Sans, good gravy. No, we need to change this all. So I'm just going to highlight all this and go here, select Times New Roman, select size 12 font. Okay, great. Okay. Um, and so we're in good shape, sort of. Okay, but this is still not correct. We still have some issues. Um, on the works cited page, there needs to be something called a hanging indent, which means that the source needs to be over here, but all the rest of the information kind of is over a little bit. And the the cool way of doing this is, let me just highlight this whole thing right here, and click on this button, and this should work in theory. So, indentation. Right now it says special none. If we click hanging, okay, let's see what happens. Oh, that is a that is just beautiful, okay. So now this is done as a hanging indent. So you can see it makes it so that we can clearly see the sources that we got. And then here's all the information that we, we have uh, in addition to that. Nice. Nice. Okay. Now, one thing, a couple of things to avoid. Um, notice, again, this is all double spaced. Okay. That we, which means that the gap between here and here and here and here and here and here, all is the same. So you should not have an extra space between sources. No, that's not good, okay? Also, there is a weird little button here on MLA formatting. Don't add spaces between paragraphs of the same line. That's fine, it's already doing that. We want everything to be double-spaced, um, which it was double-spaced, double-spaced, okay. So again, make sure that everything is double spaced across the board. Um, and uh, that's basically how you format your works cited page. Now one last little uh, bonus, bonus little piece of information is remember that if you have it on your works cited page, it needs to be up in, it needs to be cited within the paper. Anything that you've cited in the paper needs to be on the works cited page and vice versa. Oh, and I told you that whole that page break thing, okay? So why is that important? Well, so notice that this is at the top of the page here. Well, let's say I went up here and I decided to add some more information, okay? Um, let's say I wanted to add another a sentence in here or so. Um, da -da 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 -da. No, don't do that. Don't freak out on me, okay? We'll just keep going here. Da -da 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 -dee -da -dee. So I got more information than I want to add. Because as I was looking at my conclusion, I needed to add a little more information. Yeah, la 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 la. Okay, now you'll notice that I've added a few more lines. Now, had I just used that enter, 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 enter button, that would have pushed my works cited page down. Okay, it would have not been at the top of the page anymore. But again, if I click on this little button, you'll see page break. So it's just going to, however much I add or subtract, doesn't matter because the page break is going to say, okay, this is where we're done, and then we're going to start at the top of the second page, at the top of the next page. And anyway, there we go. That is the works cited in MLA formatting. Enjoy. Enjoy.